When two football teams line up against each other nose to nose, it's called the line of scrimmage. And in rugby, they call it a scrum. The rugby scrum is historically the most dangerous moment in sports. So to find out more about this battle in the trenches, we brought 16 rugby bruisers onto our AstroTurf playing surface. And the man in charge is legendary coach, Scott Johnson. Johnson is a rugby guru whose previous coaching jobs in Wales and Australia led him to the head coaching position for the U.S. national rugby team. Nothing makes me happier than seeing rugby blokes knock the out of each other regularly on big stadiums around the world. Rugby is the most dangerous team sport in the world. And one third of all the most serious injuries occur during this fight for possession, the scrum. Let's see if we can show the world how it's done, a true contest for possession. Here's how it's supposed to work. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. <laughs> Two teams engage. A polite way of saying, slam together. The ball is thrown into the gap between the front rows. The two center players, known as the hookers, try to snag the ball with their feet, knocking it backwards, where it's picked up and advanced down the field. The ball now has been won. Dr. Robert Bray is a neurological spinal surgeon and a former rugby player. A rugby scrum, when it comes together, as the forces meet in the middle, can generate up to 1.5 tons of force. 3,000 pounds of force. That's like giving a piggyback ride to a full-grown rhinoceros. But all that force is spread out over two teams. When a scrum collapses, the guys in the middle, the hookers, are in serious jeopardy. <laughs> hookers are especially vulnerable because their arms are pinned behind their backs. When a scrum collapses, the first thing to hit the ground is the hooker's head. So that got us wondering, how much damage can be inflicted when a scrum goes bad? Can it lead to paralysis or worse? Our Hybrid 3 crash test dummy is about to participate in the most dangerous moment in sports. Three, two, one, go! He went straight to the ground. The dummy's head plows into the turf with 1,100 pounds of force. That's like getting pancaked by NFL behemoth Casey Hampton. But all the force is concentrated on the neck. What we saw with our crash test dummy are loads that would definitely cause fractures to occur in the cervical spine. And you could have anything from paralysis to a fatality. With a severe torque or bending force, the ligaments running up the spinal column can tear loose as the neck is unnaturally bent. The injury created is called a hyperflexion injury which means the head's rolled down and forced forward, and it actually dislocates the mid-neck and can sever the spinal cord. 
These grave injuries are why rugby leagues around the world are trying to refine the rules to make this scrum safer. If I knew then what I know now as a neuroscientist and neurosurgeon, I wouldn't have played through college and beyond. But despite the evidence, nothing will keep rugby players from their favorite bone-crunching game. You gotta play for 80 minutes, non-stop, and no protection. It's a crazy game.